Thank you very much. On Q flags up. And away they go in the Cartier Paddock Stakes, and the six of them came out in a line. Royals pushes forward at the outside of Red Palace, who races away in second in the early stages. Love as a Rose is third. Princess Keller and Happy Chance are together, and a couple of lengths away to Beach Bomb, who races at the rear. Pace could be worse, though, past the 1,500 metres mark, and there's about six lengths in it. Pace set by Royals. She's free striding up front by two lengths. Red Palace, just with an awkward head carriage, is second. Royals could be doing a little bit more for the rest of the field. She's running her own race, and Princess Keller's prepared to venture forward. She's gone to race in second just ahead of Red Palace then fourth place is Love as a Rose Happy Chance has won from last and Beach Bomb at the back of the field and now there's no pace on towards the crossover they go just over 1,000 metres left to run and it's Royals up front by one length Princess Keller is racing in second then comes Red Palace who's back in third against the fence Love as a Rose is fourth then came Happy Chance and the Yellow Jacket and the Purple Stars and Beach Bomb. Happy to bide her time. She's patiently ridden at the back of the field. Through the final 700 metres they go. And they're about to spin for home in the Cartier Paddock Stakes. It'll be Royals who brings them into the home straight. Over Princess Keller, who's half a length away in second. Then comes Red Palace, Lovers a Rose. Beach Bomb made her run to the outside of runners. Then comes Happy Chance. 500 metres left to run. No more Royals. It's Princess Keller who's taken the lead. Red Palace on her back is now third. And Beach bombs towards the outside, making a forward move. Lovers a Rose and Happy Chance were further back, 300 metres out. Princess Keller in front from Red Palace and Beach Bomb a bit all over the place. Then comes Happy Chance who's further back. Still Princess Keller, 150 out. Beach Bomb shows a lot of cheek to her outside, as does Happy Chance up the inside. Princess Keller clings on for dear life over Beach Bomb. Beach Bomb may have just got there. Tight in the end. Beach Bomb, Princess Keller, Happy Chance was third, not beaten far. Then came Red Palace. What a race. Princess Keller clinging on for dear life as Beach Bomb gets closer and closer with every stride. Then comes Happy Chance up towards the inside, showing a ton of cheek. Princess Keller just into the Cartier advertising board, but Beach Bomb has won another grade one. Beach Bomb and Lomerar King's Plate Day for the Drakenstein Stud and a JP Fundamava and Candace Bass Robinson has won. What a fill turning into. Princess Keller probably saw the lead a bit earlier than expected and wanted, but she's put up a huge run in second. And as for Happy Chances, run in third also. Tip of the hat to her. The race not run to suit Red Palace, but you could probably make the same argument for Beach Bomb. They walked the small field. And Beach Bomb from the back of the field has won. She takes her career earnings past one and a half million rand, and she's now a back-to-back -back grade one winner. Lovers arose, and then came Royals, the long-time leader. So the winners towards the left-hand side, the daughter of Lancaster Bomber. As mentioned, bred and owned by the Drakenstein stud, Princess Keller. Like I said, probably just got exposed into the leader stride or two too early when Royals couldn't sustain the gallop. Not that it was a fast gallop, but Beach Bomb. Just gets in a nick of time. JP Fundamava's sudden grade one record is stacking up. He loves it around here. Beach Bomb, grade one win, number two, in the space of a month.